with so many signs, the birth pains all around us on the news that what we can see on our everyday um, lives and our everyday lives, we see everything that's going on, the birth pains, the earthquakes, the one that just hit over there in Turkey, Syria, 7.4 magnitude. That's a pretty fairly big uh, earthquake there. Uh, man, these are all things that guys that Jesus taught his disciples and other people who followed him. Um, that these are the signs of the the ends of the times and the birth pains. You know, is uh, when you know that um, Christ is imminent. We don't know that day and time that Christ is coming, but we're given the signs that lead up to the day of the Lord. You know, so the things that's going on now, where the violence is increasing, the people are waxing colder and colder. You know just hateful just so hateful and so easily to be led to do hateful things you know god do not like feet that's quick to run to cause destruction those are people so people who have feet that are quick to cause destruction are people who are quick to go into false accusation satanic agreement and to kill somebody or whatever the case may be quote unquote about that life you know so when it comes to that situation you have uh the earthquakes are like the contractions a woman can have when they're um in labor and when the water breaks that's the floods going on all over the place and then the child comes out and that would be the second coming so you know the birth pains right you know so the great tribulation the signs of the great tribulation coming up you know, I believe in the um, rapture, then the great tribulation, because the great tribulation is God's wrath. God's wrath would be using weather, people, animals, all of that. You know what I mean? And um, then, you know, in over there in Israel, you have people who believe they have the Messiah here right now in Israel, which is a bald faced lie. I believe that that is the son of perdition, the man of lawlessness that's going to have Revelation 13, 16 to 18. Where God said that um, young, old, free, and slave uh, 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 were made to accept the mark of the beast or his name. Sis, sis, sis. You know, people who don't accept the mark of the beast or his name are going to uh, have their head cut off. They're going to be killed, executed. So with the Christian persecution, you know, picking up because, you know, Satan has come down with great wrath, waging war with the saints. You know, they put a crown of thorns on the head of Jesus Christ. So marking somebody a victim or targeting somebody, you speak truth. Of course, you're going to be marked by Satan. Of course, you're going to be targeted by people of Satan. But God said no man can curse what God is blessed. Now, for somebody who can see it, that's one thing. But somebody who see it and believe that Satan is going to win is somebody who haven't put their trust in God. And Jesus Christ, somebody who put, haven't put their faith in God, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to Jesus is Lord, you know, that's a whole nother thing where a person would feel like they're two separate people, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, God made everything. If God is in that body over there, there's God. You see the likeness of God, man made in the image of God, right? So when it becomes that situation, you know, um, the fall of man is a whole nother thing. Because, you know, that would be the darkness when they fail from light, you know, saying from grace. So it becomes a situation whereas, you know, we have uh, the China uh, and U.S. over Taiwan, the balloon that was just shot down, you know, and the U.S. seemingly to be in fear of war. You know, but we already know that God already predicted these things to happen. You know, the U.S. can very well be ready for war, but they know they can't make a move until God permits it to permit them to make a move or whatever the case may be to, you know, to carry out the wars or whatever. You know, and you see how United States are OK in abortions. They're OK in um, which is killing babies. You know, how can you lock a person up for pedophilia 
but you're allowing kids, second graders, to be read homosexual books. You know, you're allowing cis graders and cis grade teachers to tell cis graders and sign them up to have sex changes. But you lock somebody up for pedophilia. It's hypocrisy. They're hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, how can you charge somebody with pedophilia, but then you have a billionaire or a millionaire that's 60 some years old dating somebody in their younger 20s, mid-20s? Just because the person is grown don't mean it's right. It's still a form of pedophilia, you know? So, you know, um, with Satan coming down with great wrath, great wrath waging war with the saints, you know, we're going to have, you know, a bunch of uh, Christian persecution, of course. You know, you're going to have, um, they stalk, just like Jesus Christ was followed all over the place by the Pharisees and Sadducees. You know, he was followed all over the place. And um, they was putting bad names on them, false accusations. You know, because Satan is a great uh, accuser of, the, of God's people. You know what I'm saying? He accused them day and night. You know, and you know, it's like you looking to kill somebody. How can you speak evil or negative, whether it be true or false, against anybody when you kill before? You should be locked up. You know what I'm saying? But okay, a person is there to give sign to the believers to know where we are in the timeline. No man knows the day that Jesus Christ is coming back, but we know that there's people who are who who God chose to have His Holy Spirit, and there's people who uh, are in darkness and bond transgenerational curses, generational curses coming from Egypt or from their parents or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Whether they were in secret societies, you know, killing people, witchcraft, seances, warlocks you know, zodiacs, astrology and all that, you know what I'm saying? Cursing the name of cursing God, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it becomes a what a, 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 a interesting situation how, you know, God people will put darkness for light and light for darkness. You know what I'm saying? People are calling good people evil and evil people good. So this person is a real nigga for shooting down Another guy that dressed and looked just like him? That's a real nigga? That's not a real nigga. That's a dumb nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's a lost nigga who needs Jesus Christ. They need to understand John 3.16 that Jesus Christ died on the cross for him. God is love, not hate. You know what I'm saying? Anybody in light or anybody in God's life, God of heaven and earth, because you know you have a God of this world. Satan, Satan is nobody, zilch, zero, nothing, already dead. So anybody who convert over to Satanism or whatever, they're dead. You know, sin leads to death, right? Okay. Spiritually dead, in the grave, physical body. So when it comes to that point, you know, it becomes a situation, whereas, you know, um, uh, they follow, you know, all... You all are all around the place. Some people in certain groups call it targeted individuals. I get that part. You know what I'm saying? But when people ride around like that, you know, one head like, it's like it's a game. Spirits of violence, they travel in packs just like wolves do. But God said, I send you out of sheep amongst wolves. You know what I'm saying? Have no fear, you know, lest he allow you to be overcome. Because there's no faith and there's no fear in faith. You know, either you in faith or you in fear. There's no in between. So therefore, the, 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 the demons, the spirits of fear, people will dispatch those to you. But God always leave a leeway for you for escape. Because whoever God gives to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is going to keep. Whoever's in God's hand, no man can pull up them out, you know. God said he, he would never leave nor forsake you. Whosoever put their trust in Jesus Christ shall be saved. And if you don't trust them, you think you trust them, you know, 
you got to discern what's going on. If everything around you is all good, fine, and dandy, something wrong because the real people are being persecuted. The real people are being set up to be killed. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know, so so because of the situation there, who are you really serving? Are you serving yourself? Are you just worried about yourself? You know what I'm saying? So remember the last one? Here we go with another one. Doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? They walk up to the car. They look in. So after this video, I'm going to post the other video of the old girl. Like she running by. But the track is over there. What are you walking over here for? You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. And then four, like four blocks down the street, there's a way bigger park. You know, so it is what it is. In these times, God said we ought to be rejoicing with these signs. You know, when we endure um, persecution and everything, because we got to understand that um, other saints who have crossed over, you know, uh, per have been persecuted too. And other saints right now are being done the same way. So we, we shouldn't be tripping. We dying for the name of Jesus Christ because we don't have nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So, which is a good thing, you know, because to, for, you know, if a person can sell out for money and then you can have money, then you're a saint. And it's like, God, have the, God got to make it a way where he can test you, have you to be tempted, you know, how Job was. And to build you through through that whole thing, and you always have everything you need and some of the things you want. You know, we're basically spoiled. You know, it's just we got sent through uh, tests, the pressure that people apply, that the you know the demonic realm and the physical bodies are sent to apply pressure that helps us grow. We get tested through the fire and come back gold every time. You know. So it becomes one of them type of things, whereas a person would consider you to be falling away. And it's like, what am I falling away from? I don't agree with none of this stuff in the world. You know, stop playing. I can never follow anybody around talking about killing them because they doing this and that and the third. But over here on the other side, now here it is where this person is doing wrong and I don't say nothing. Wow. That's crazy, right? How can you pl pluck out the speck in your brother's eye and not realize you have a, a speck in your own eye? Judge not, lest you be judged first with the same measure that you judge others will be measured back to you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, for different people, God said, judge all things. You know what I'm saying? Because righteous judgment, you can't have an unrighteous person using righteous judgment. They're not righteous. They're wicked. The devil was a lie. The devil has been a lie from the beginning. He's been a murderer from the beginning. So he told other people like, you are of your father, Satan. For Satan has been a murderer from the beginning. He's been a liar from the beginning. So when they go around spreading lies about you, half lies, half truths, you know, Satan is the architect of confusion. And if people believe it, then that means they're not of God no way because they don't have truth. But I understand one thing that they need to know that um, that Jesus Christ died for them. And if they cope on that time come, not keeping up with repentance for their sins, they get left behind. And then now they really going to be in turmoil because now they got to uh, 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 endure to the end in order to get be delivered, you know, from hell, you know. So now they got to die for the name of Jesus Christ. Those who lose their life for Christ will find it, you know what I'm saying? And those who uh, keep their life, save their life, you know, their selves, like uh, by, you know, selling out to Satan, they're going to lose it. 
you bow down to Baal or worship any other idol, you're lost. You go to hell. God bless.